Hey, what's going on everybody? Adrian Diaz here with Hasta La Vista Boss. And uh, in this third uh, video of our series on how to live stream on YouTube, I want to share with you how to connect your um, YouTube channel to your OBS uh, software and, you know, start getting to uh, pump some videos. It, it's nothing complicated. As you can see, one way to do it is uh, by making sure that, first of all, you are on the right YouTube channel and uh, go to youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard and you scroll all the way down and you see this uh, stream name key uh, you reveal and then you copy I'm not gonna click reveal because you're gonna see mine and uh, it's not um, it's not safe to do that because if anybody sees this then anybody can stream on my channel <laughs> so I mean I'm not I'm not gonna be upset if you're doing a better job than myself but uh, you never know <laughs> So that would be one way to do it. And the second way to do it, uh, you go here to um, your OBS uh, software. Once it's installed, you go to settings, you go to live stream or stream here, sorry, stream. And uh, you see you have um, get stream key. You're just gonna click on that. It's gonna take you to the same page that I was uh, previously and uh, you go all the way down again you click reveal you copy the uh, you copy the key that's in here and then you go back to your software and you click paste in here and then you click apply and okay that's it that's the that's how you connect your youtube channel to your obs um, stream now, if, uh, I just want to remind you that if you find this YouTube randomly on YouTube, this is a part of a series that we're doing. So you'll find the links to all the other videos in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, any troubles, anything uh, set, setting up this, uh, I would love to know. And, um, uh, you know, just um, tell me what you think. Uh, I hope, I mean, it's simple as you can see. Ah, hang on. One thing before I go, I want to share with you. Uh, so, uh, let's say, because I want to share this, this, uh, this is very important, at least to me, it was important. So, when you go live, right, uh, when you're going to go live, you're going to create a new stream, right? Every time you're going to create a new stream, or well, that's the... Uh, that's what you usually do. But what I've discovered that, um, let us let me just copy and create this live stream that I, I, I've done already. So here I'm just gonna come and depending on what we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna change the, obviously the title. Um, I'm gonna make this one unlisted. Uh, we're gonna change the date, the time, the uh, thumbnail, whatever, you click save. And you see this uh, stream key here. I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna click uh, to to see it. But if you create a live a new live stream every time instead of copy the stream that you already done, what you have to do every time you create a new stream, you'll have to come in here, copy this uh, stream key, go to your um, go to your OBS uh, settings stream and and copy in here which is a pain in the ass, right? I mean, uh, I don't do it uh, because I always create uh, the same stream, right? The same stream, so I don't have to keep going, keep doing this uh, silly job here to copy the stream key and paste it every time. That's just silly. So I, I don't do that. Uh, that that's, uh, that's one tip for you. And uh, let me quickly before... I move on and forget about these ones because then I'll receive messages. Hey, Adrian, I think you're going to go live, man. What's going on? So this is just the um, video that we created just for this purpose. So I'm just going to quickly delete these ones so I don't have people messaging me. Hey, Adrian, you going live? <laughs> uh, but th that's all um, That's all for, for, for this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, let me know in the comments below and uh, I see you in number four. 
All right, boss.